So this is the flag of Neuchâtel with the Templar sign in it. So this is another lake, another word, this is the lake of uh, Neuchâtel. So we've seen, I filmed Lake Geneva, Lake Thun, it's full of lakes here. There are less flags in the French speaking part. An obelisk in Neuchâtel on the lake in Switzerland with a devil here. This is oval, like the oval office. It's part of the basic apaches of course. This is a typical devil. Look at his eyes and in the, uh, the land of the devils, you could say. Babylon in Neuchâtel, Switzerland. Isis, the whore of Babylon, in the center of evil. Symbol of uh, with the Templars, symbol on uh, the flag of uh, Neuchâtel. And here it's full of obelisks. Lion, it's a symbol of the pharaonic dignity, the royal dignity of the Ari aristocracy. Ah means pregnant, Ri is the sun. They came from the sun. And that's why it's gold, golden. Now well, here's the place of the reptilians. In the Chateau Octagon. The basin is an octagon shape, octagonal shape. Here's another devil in it. And here's the tribunal. The judiciary hotel. Nice. You want to sleep here forever? Have a life sentence in a hotel? Oh wow, what do you say? Fleur de Lys. Well, it's all here. And these guys are here as well. Look at that. Can't be any clearer, I'd say. And there as well. Well, this place is full of it. Reptilians. The square and compass. Templar symbol. It's everywhere, full of it. So let's go and have a look up there, what we can see here. Weird. Sisters of Isis. Probably much more. The Earth domination everywhere. And here's the church with the the obelisk church. Nice. You want to live here? Spend the night in the hotel here. Oh, look. Oh yeah, put on your glasses. There's funny symbols on the door. Look like a swastika. Oh, 
Now this is octagon, octagonal. And here, it shows two times an S in it. S, S, upside down, funny. And here's the other S. And S is how you write Isis in Pharaonic, only the consonant. So SS is Isis. And here's that grail. So the blood of Isis is here. The sisters of Isis. There's another castle. Another octagonal shape, almost an obelisk. With an axe in it. Symbol of the Templars. Looks like a... Uh, oh, that's the symbol of the... Uh, the Freemasons in America, what's her name again? Uh, with those Fez Arabic hats on their, on their heads. I can't recall the name now. You know who I mean. So I still can't recall the name of this sect with the moon goddess and the stars and this pirate sword or a Muslim sword but it's related with the Templars here's the Templar symbol next to it so it's related and this is a thousand years old maybe so that means it exists a thousand years well, I mean the Templars did the Crusades so that's why they have this Muslim symbol next to it and the sword so it's all related well it's all the same thing thing anyway, you know, religion and, and uh, they have power over mankind with it, you know. So this is related, you see, next to each other, like sisters. And this is old. And the origin is, it's a temple origin. It's Switzerland. So this is in Switzerland, you know, it's here. That wasn't established like in America, these, these buggers here. Uh, must have been here for ages, at least a thousand years, at least since the Crusades. Well, this is a Muslim sword. And this is the Templar symbol. Yes, Sergeant. So this secret organization is called the Muslim Shriners, as in a shrine. And they're not founded in 1872 in New York, in the USA, as they say themselves. But as I just proved to you, these symbols are already being found on a Swiss castle next to the Templar symbols. So it's much, much older. So these are the traditional Arabic hats called a fez, uh, which the, shrine, the Shriners are wearing. And the secret organization is called the Ancient Arabic Order of the Nobles of the Mystic Shrines and they found their way into the White House. There are several US presidents who were and are Shriners. So the Muslims are in the White House. So here's President Harry Truman, a Shriner. US president, a Muslim Shriner. 
here he is with Harry Truman with some of his shrine appels in the Oval Office in the White House. Some more shriners taking over the White House with Harry Truman. And at the right we can see General Douglas MacArthur, also a shriner. President Roosevelt, also a shriner. Gerald Ford, also a shriner. They're everywhere. And they're not just like uh, 100 years old or from 1872 as they claim themselves. I just showed it to you on a very ancient Swiss building, a fortress and a castle where it already shows the symbol, uh, which is at least 1000 years old. So don't believe these guys, this is very, these are very old secret societies from Egypt. That's why they have this pharaoh in the middle. I'm going to show it to you. So here you can see, the same as on the Swiss fortress. The very same sword, the same half moon, the star and the pharaoh in the middle here. So if they have this pharaoh like in the middle, you think it's from 1872? Or is it older from the pharaonic times? Well, I tell you, it's older. It's pharaonic. They're all pharaohs. Whether they're Muslims or Christians or whatever. They're all pharaohs. And this shrine after which they are called, their name, is of course a pharaonic sarcophagus. That's the shrine. Still in Neuchâtel, Switzerland. It's supposed to be a uh, Freemason. Uh, concentration here so this tower is called the prison tower there it says that's the prison tower it looks very old this is natural rocks if you see natural rocks it's quite old you're going up there so if you follow the street here where we were before there was the uh, judiciary hotel you want to spend only one night or do you want to do a life eh, in the hotel well, let's do only one night, or not even that. Well, the entrance shows the Vesica Peitzes everywhere, forming the oval. What do you know? It's all over, right? It's all over. And this here, acacia leaves, Freemason symbol, and uh, it's the Freemason checkerboard, isn't it? And here are the acacia leaves. Well, what do you know? So, you have to pay to get in here to the, the prison tower. So, you don't have to pay with a life sentence, you pay with a uh, with a token of, uh, of credit, money. So this is the grail with the world domination on it. And uh, think of everything. And here's the tower. <clears throat> so in most prisons you have to pay to get out. But in this Swiss prison, it's all the other way around. You have to pay to get in. Let's see if it works. Oh. So here it says, this is what Swiss prison looked like until 1848. Oh. Nice. Can you, can you hear this? You know, closing down like on Nice. You want to do a life in here? <coughs> Looks like a sauna. Probably nowhere. It smells like a sauna in here. I don't think you can breathe in here, eh? And they're still doing it this Swiss. They're putting immigrants in torture detention centers where they can't breathe. 
like the Amthausen burn. See if it opens up. No, nothing really happens. Oh, there it is. Oh, nice. Welcome to Switzerland. You thought it was a clean country, eh? Hmm. Well, actually, they keep Switzerland clean by a totalitarian system. That's how they do it. Welcome to the sauna. There's a lot of stairs. There's some other prisons here. Nice! Another sauna. Welcome to the Swiss sauna. Mm. Nice. Until 1848. In the Swiss, they signed the Declaration of the Human Rights in 1954. November the 4th, I think it was. You think they kept it? Any of it? No, they don't keep any at all in Switzerland. So we're on the roof of the, of the Sauna Hotel. There's the Lake Neuchâtel. It's going to rain. So this is how you ride down Le Chateau. There it is, Le Chateau. They make watches here. Clean, expensive watches. And the poor ones, it's welcome, like in the train. Welcome for the rich people who come and buy the, the expensive Swiss watches. Welcome. And for the rest, it's a Swiss sauna. That's how it works here. That's how they keep it clean, eh? Oh, yeah. Fleur de Lys. So, if they can make the whole door with a lock on it, look, here's the lock, and build the tower and the staircase, you know. So, why do you think they didn't punch some holes in it? I mean, you wouldn't be able to escape with some small holes. Because this is on purpose. The pharaohs, they know, they know this from the sarcophagus and the pharaonic tombs. This is a very good way of torturing people. I mean, even if, uh, if you think about it, you get sick, you know. And they have all the power to close or open up this little, the only hole where the air is coming in. So they sh can show the one who is inside that they have absolute power over what he's breathing. So they control what you eat, what you drink and what you breathe. This is total control, the Swiss sauna is. I mean, they could easily punch a few holes in it on the top, you like, you know? But they don't, you know? The pharaohs know this and the Swiss are still doing it today. They did it with me for five months. In a similar thing like this. This this would be better. Not even it's it's more, it's it's airtight. Very it's in, incredibly airtight. And this is the concealed way of the whole how the whole criminal country works, you know. Switzerland. Octagon. The Octagon Sauna, and they still do it today, in 2013. They murdered many, many, many people, immigrants. And these immigrants, the poor ones, you know, well, 
if they see that in a Swiss train, they're coming like, welcome, bienvenue, all this, you know. What happens afterwards is a real shock because they're gonna experience the Swiss sauna, as I did. So if I see this in the train, like, welcome, bienvenue, willkommen, well, it's quite sour to see this, you know. And I have to open up my mouth. I haven't been welcome here for 16 years. I only know the Swiss sauna. It's what they did to me. And I'm not going to forget it. And I'm not going to forgive it. So here's the all seeing eye. Looks like a reptilian. The church in Neuchâtel, that's blue and gold, it's the, the colors of the pharaonic dignity as uh, Louis XIV with a hexagram in it in gold, the rest is lapis lazuli. The pharaohs are here, there's the octagon, there it is, octagon, it's octagonal. And here the Swiss are praying. Look, they're all praying. Please, God, give us a lot of money. Look, they're all praying, the hypocrites. Give us a lot of Nazi gold. That's what they're praying for. <laughs> Here's a Templar symbol. So I'm just sneaking in here. Who's that? Swiss Pharaoh. The Swiss Master Race. This is uh Something like the uh, authorities here. Oh, they're still <laughs> they're still in a castle there. You know. <laughs> Let's sneak in here. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look at the table. <laughs> I don't think it's allowed to be in here. Never mind. <laughs> what a table. Oh, this is Freemason stuff, man. This is where they planned the, the New World Order. Look at the witch. Oh, dear. Look at this witch here. Isis. And another one. The Sisters of Isis. Well, this is witchcraft. Funny symbols here. You can probably put together into a, a pyramid. This is all. This is where world domination takes place here in Switzerland. You, rem you imagine them sitting here where the, during the Second World War, you know? The whole world is in war and they're sitting here and financing it all, you know? I don't think I'm allowed to go in here. Oh, here's the other one. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. 
Ah, there's the Judiciary Hotel. You want to do a lifer or just spend one night? What do you want? Well, if it's up to them, you do a lifer. That's for sure. <laughs> so the authorities are here. I hardly think I'm allowed to get in here. Let's have a look. Probably another dungeon. Another Swiss sauna. Nice. It says Department of Finance. So now the authorities are still in here. These pharaohs are still in here. I don't think I'm allowed to go this far, but well, who cares? It's a Salle de Chevalier for the knights, chevaliers and knights. So here yeah, these bloody Freemasons are probably gathered here as well. So I told you, the Pharaohs became the aristocracy and the aristocracy became the Freemasons. Let's see if it's open. Bloody door. No, it isn't. Never mind. Some more reptilians with wings on it. It says, I don't know what this is. Man with a serpent, 1600. Fleur de Lis, blue and gold. The colors of the pharaonic royal dignity. All sorts of animals in it. And Babylon. That looks pharaonic here. Only the top of the wing here. This part here. It's like on Osiris. So this is the castle here where the authorities are in now. They still are in here. They still are. It's the way out. The Swiss cross with the Templar symbols here. Yes, Sergeant. Another foot. Funny creature there. World domination with a pyramid and almost looks like an obelisk the way they put their publicity in it and this is a bank a Swiss bank so they got their symbology everywhere <laughs> even or especially the banks so let's, let's get out of here Hotel du Peru, in Pharaonic, Per U. Per, it means the house. So the, uh, like the, the royal house. Who I needed some more time to translate it. So there's the, the Sphinx here. Per U, that's why it's Per U, you know? Like in Per A. 
the big house, the big pharaonic house. Well, here it is. Here's the pharaohs. This one got tits here, and the other one on the other side doesn't. It's got a female head, but doesn't have any tits. Oh, no tits. Funny. Claws, yeah. The Grail is there, our blood is here. Where is this Pharaonic? And... Look, the Swiss Pharaohs. I told you, this is the land of the Pharaohs. It's where they went to. They're ruling the world. Switzerland, Octagon, their business is death. 